Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Today I'm going to talk about the simple dust collection system that I set up here in my small garage shop. Maybe it's something that could work for you in your shop without breaking the bank. Let's get started. So we can put together this simple dust collection system for, you know, a small shop in a garage like this with uh, relative ease and inexpense. Uh, I don't need to go out and purchase, you know, a big giant cyclone dust collection system and have to run tubing everywhere, um, you know, all over the place and grounded and all that kind of stuff. Um, everything I got, with the exception of these uh, blast gates, I got from the big orange box store, um, you know, uh, relatively inexpensive. So, you know, let's start with, I got these hoses here, just a couple extras that I could hook to the table saw or the sander or the band saw, you know, whatever I need to use. Um, and then underneath the bench is where the shop vac is that, you know, is the dust collection system. So we'll go take a look at this. Uh, it's really easy. Um, I just got the shop vac. I just shoved it under there. Uh, I didn't put all the wheels and all that kind of stuff on there. I uh, didn't really need it. Um, and then I just ran the, the PVC with these rubber couplings uh, to get, uh, you know, to, to get the, the, you know, where I wanted to put the connection points. Uh, so the first thing I did was I took the shop back, I took the hose that came with it, and I just cut it so that I could put it in the, um, you know, in this rubber coupling right here. Uh, and it's super interesting, I can just take it off, like, you know, like so. I can bring it out, open it up, and take it apart to empty it or whatever, real easy. Clean the filter, etc. And then when I need to put it back in, just run the, put the hose right back on, clip it down, and you're good to go. It's out of the way, no big deal. Um, so the, the piping is just standard two inch PVC piping that you know I got from, from the orange store uh, with the rubber couplings that are attached to the blast gates, etc. Um, so what you can see here is, is you know, it's hooked to the, to the piping over here, and then it comes out here for this gate, which goes to the table saw or whatever piece of equipment I might have out in the shop. Uh, and then it comes up, hits a Y, and then goes up for the radial. Um, and then there's a blast gate on the radial back there as well. Um, and then if you come on this side, where I come through the, this little wall here on the bench, um, I went ahead and added just a piece if I want to ever extend out to you know, another tool or something like where I keep my bandsaw and all that. Uh, I can, I haven't had really the need to do that just yet, but it's really easy to, to expand the system. So uh, I just put some PVC with a cap on it so I don't lose suction. Yeah, super simple, super easy. Uh, and what else I did, well, oh, I say, I hooked it to this switch right here. Um, this is just a switch, one end plugs into the wall. The other end has a plug like an extension cord that the shop back is. And I can turn the uh, shop back on and off without ease, without, you know, with ease without having to try to get underneath the table, you know, or the bench. Because normally, like, I keep a little air compressor here, and there's, you know, the hoses are all stored in here. So, uh, yeah, so it's super easy, super simple. Uh, didn't cost a lot, um, and uh, yeah. So, oh, you know, somebody, if somebody asked me about static. Um, you know, the big systems, they can build up static because they're running a lot of material through them, static electricity. Um, and so far, I really haven't had that issue. So I haven't had to worry about it. Now those systems, the, the tubing, et cetera, has you know, copper wire and stuff run through it so that you can ground it to the blast gates and, and the system and you know, all that stuff. So you don't build up that static. Um, it hasn't been an issue with, for, my, for what I do here in the shop, so no big deal. Um, oh, another thing is I like to use these rubber couplings and this, you know, this PVC so I don't have to glue it all together. Um, so if something gets jammed up in there or whatever, I can always, I can just easily take it apart, clean it out, put it back together and get back to work. Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the simple system I got here in the, in the shop. It works great. Um, haven't had any issues with it. You know, I can run the, the vac for, you know, depending on what I'm doing for, you know, a month or two and then empty it out, clean the filter off, throw it all back in there, no big deal. So yeah, cool. Well, I hope you found the video helpful. Um, if you got any questions, you know, feel free to ask down in the comments below or you can email me. I'll put the link down there as well um, and I'll answer anything I can. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing. Um, with these, I found with these uh, blast gates, when they're in the horizontal position, like I have back here behind the radial, uh, it's not a big deal, but when they're like this in the vertical, I noticed down here on the, um, uh, for the, 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 the gate for my table saw, that the sawdust would kind of build up inside this end over here, and I couldn't shut it all the way. So 
what I did was I ended up just putting on the bandsaw and just cutting this end off right here. Um, and it works great, pushes the sawdust out. And you know, I was kind of worried, it's like, well, if I break that, that seal or whatever, is it gonna lose suction? Haven't noticed any major loss of suction at all with that little bit being cut off. So works great, so simple fix, um, yeah. Other than that, that's it. If you, like I said, if you got any questions, uh, please feel free to ask uh, and I'll answer anything I can. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.